How's it going, everyone? I've been away for about a week and a half, just dealing with life. Um, I've also been a little bit sick. You can hear my throat is quite scratchy today. Uh, so I'm a little bit, uh, you know, maybe out of practice, a little bit tired, but that's fine. We are going to jump back into it with a fresh new build for spooky season. This is the Great Pumpkin, and we're just running classic Gatling Gun Songbirds. A great option for single player but works very well in multiplayer as well. Jumping into the build itself, we of course have double who bins, the Gatling guns. Um, among the machine guns, I think they perform quite well. Of course, they have very short range, but have pretty good stagger buildup. Do have to watch out for them overheating. Um, I don't use them that often, so it's not my, <clears throat> my forte, we'll say, um, when it comes to watching out for that overheat on the Gatling guns. But they are uh, great, great options, especially PvE. Moving into the back weapons, we have dual songbirds. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and dual songbirds, I love the songbirds. They double fire a smaller grenade shot for those who don't know what it is. It especially feels good on the wheelchair legs as, as you're cruising through, it'll fire one and then fire the other. There's a little bit of trajectory correction there. Um, it just feels quite nice. I find that I'll clip them with one, even if I don't get both. And you don't necessarily have to use them on staggered opponents. You could also do something like run the ear shots. These have a little bit higher damage, much bigger blast radius. But the reload time is about twice as much. And I don't know. The, uh, running both, I think the songbirds just feel better. But you could certainly go ear shots if you wanted to. Moving into the head... We have the 44A, um, and I use this both because it has fairly high defense and just all around good stats. The EN load is pretty good compared to some of the other uh, heavy heads, and it kind of looks like the stem of a pumpkin. So it's perfect. It's the perfect use. Into the core, we're going to run the VE40A. I'm doing this, well, it's a heavier core, so I did want to stay fairly tanky. I wanted to stay fairly round. Um, and that generator output adjustment is also just great. Um, this is a fairly speedy heavy tank, so I did want to keep a lot of energy, you know, in the uh, in the tank there. So VE40A is a great option. You could certainly go with one of the other heavy cores too. It's not necessarily vital to the build, especially depending on what you do with your generator. Running into the arms, we have the ephemeras. Um, again, there's a couple of options here, but I find the ephemeras, minus their kinetic defense, are a great mix of AP, defensive ability, and have pretty good firearm specialization. There's a few that have higher firearm, um, and even something like the howls wouldn't be bad. So you could adjust it accordingly. Again, the ephemeras aren't super necessary for any specific reason, but I find them a good balance of what we're looking for in this build. For the legs... We are running the Fortaleza again. I know I've had a couple of Fortaleza builds out recently, um, but we're a pumpkin, so I had to choose just the roundest thing that I could get, um, and the Fortaleza definitely fits the bill. Also, it feels really good with the Gatling guns and songbirds, just cruising around mowing stuff down. Of course, we have no boosters. FCS-wise, we are running the Talbot. You have to love that close and medium range assist, and that's exactly where we're going to be at. You could probably shift to something with a little bit better close range support, but I do find that you can clip things with the songbirds, even if they're not staggered, um, a little bit better than something like the earshot. And they have a quicker reload time, so it's not as punishing to fire them and kind of hope to hit, right? Um, so the Talbot seems to work quite well. Generator wise, I'm running the 20C. I do sort of wish that I was running something with a little bit higher capacity at some times. Um, we're staying mostly on the ground, so it's not, not a huge deal, but there's a few cases where there's a more aerial opponent where a little bit more capacity definitely would be nice. Um, but you can quite easily overburden yourself with some of the other generators, um, like the 20C would be a great option, but we're overburdened. <clears throat> you might could lighten up the arms, lighten up the core, and fit something like that on... Um, and, but there's a few options that you can fit on, right? And you could do, like, the Ming Tong. Um, so it's kind of personal preference here. Again, this build is, is fairly general purpose. So it's very customizable, um, much more so than a lot of the things that I build. 
Expansion is your choice. I love Assault Armor. We're already nice and close with our Gatling guns. It's played well for me. Why not? I would just go with Assault Armor for that one. So I'm going to do something that I haven't done before in my build videos, and that's give you guys the share code as well as the paint coloring. Um, previously, it's been available for members. Um, our head here is just a bunch of shades of green and some black tones. But my paint job and schematics have been available to channel members. But I think I'm going to change course a little bit and start making them publicly available um, just to everybody. So I'll still have some channel member perks. Um, but just as life changes and everything, I'm finding that I have a little bit less time to really spend catering to those that specific um, spot in my Discord, right? So I think I'm going to shift gears a little bit, and we're going to start making more public builds. Um, and then our guns here are just made sort of to look like branches, something like that. Our arms have the little green leaf effects, and we have that lovely green um, stem as our head. But that is going to be your paint. And then I'll show you the share code here. There's going to be your share code for the Great Pumpkin. Um, and stick around on the channel. I will start going back and re-releasing some of my other ones as well. I'll adjust the Discord channel so that it is not private for the members. So you can jump in there and take a look at all of my older designs. Get those schematics. Get those color schemes as well. And from here, we'll jump into some PvP. And here we go into match one with the Great Pumpkin. Or against a Loader 4 with a basic emblem. See, they didn't watch my video. Gotta customize that. So we'll do probably a couple singles and then we'll jump into a 3v3. What do we got? Rifles. Oh, and turrets. Pretty uh, aerial too, potentially. Turrets definitely might hurt. Yeah, come in swinging. If I can get him staggered, I can probably pretty much end it. Ooh, those turrets hurt, like I expected. Go. Oh, my second wave missed. There we go. Assault armor for the win. It was a good match, though. <laughs> Spinning torso grenade maneuver. I'll let my Gatlings cool off a little. Uh, a little out of range. A double stagger on each other. There we go. Oof, songbirds too good.
volume okay? Okay, we're going to roll into our next one here against a missile boat. Very interesting half lightweight missile boat. Regardless, not our best matchup. Let's see what we can do here, though. I believe in the power of the Great Pumpkin. We're going to harness the spook to win. Oh, the missile stagger. It's a paratus. That's so sad. Oh, we got it. Ooh, 381 AP left. That is rough. That is rough. The power of the spooky season did not let us down. Ah, oh, it hurts so bad. Surprised both of those missed, honestly. Boom, <clears throat> and we got it. Just takes a couple of those songbird hits. Still an obnoxious matchup, but we are gonna roll into some 3v3s maybe. Here we are in our 3v3. We have plasma turrets, a redshift, oh, the needles, some grenades. Okay, what's on our end? We got the great pumpkin, more grenades and needles, and some coral missiles. Okay. An interesting uh, lineup all around, honestly. So we'll just go in together. <coughs> Ooh. There we go, one down. Stagger him. Two down. God, all kinds of fire coming in on me. Okay, time to stop chasing that guy and get out of here. Pull them back towards my teammates here. Might not be enough. Oh, got me. I staggered him too, but the blades got me. That's fine.
Well, this is a tight match. A short time frame, too. We get the win by 10 points. Okay, an interesting kind of lineup all around on our end. I still stick out like a sore thumb. I love it. Lane throwers and napalm launchers. Whew. That color. You can see him coming from across the map. going to toss grenades into that. <laughs> oh, that hurt. On, there we go. Ooh, got the flamethrower on me. They're waiting for their teammates to respawn a little. I was hoping he'd be staggered before my grenades get over there. Songbirds just finishing that. <clears throat> oh, and they take me down. I'm still not a huge fan of the scoring system. No matter how much damage you do to somebody, you really only get points, or any kind of notable points, if you get the kill. Don't love that. Like it should uh, score you based on damage done. Stay out of the napalm. Coming in on time. Looks like we'll take it too. Very nice. Not by a huge margin, but we got it. So that's it, guys. That is the Great Pumpkin. Nothing crazy or, you know, anti-meta niche or anything in this one. It is just kind of a all-around fun, very flexible build. Um, this thing will, will solo pretty much every uh, all three versions of your main storyline this is one of the things i ran through with i think it was my second playthrough maybe um just to see if it could just to see you know how that would do if i just slapped on some gatling guns and songbirds on a tank and if i would actually have any real struggles um no is is the answer on that one um i'll chat about that a little bit too i think i plan to do a podcast episode soon um, maybe talk about just reviewing the game in general. Um, so stick around for that one as well. Keep an eye out. But that is The Great Pumpkin. If you like the build, if you like the design, of course, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.